Zeus is thought of by a lot of people as the strongest god in Greek mythology, and maybe even undefeatable. But what if I told you there was an unstable monster, so powerful that even the mighty Zeus was helpless to his wrath? You may not believe me, but the monster known as Typhon is just that. In this video, we'll uncover who and what Typhon even is, how he was able to gain insurmountable amounts of power, and how he was able to dethrone the presumed omnipotent god that was Zeus. Now sit back and listen closely to the story of the mythical monster Typhon. An elderly scholar sits hunched over a massive tome, his brow furrowed in concentration. The flickering candlelight casts an eerie glow over the ancient book's weathered pages. He traces his finger along the intricate illustrations, depicting serpentine figures' fierce battles. Typhon, the monstrous offspring of the primordial deities Gaia and Tartarus, was a serpentine giant with hundreds of fire-spewing dragon heads, massive wings that blotted out the sun, and eyes that shot forth flames hotter than the forges of Hephaestus himself. The scholar pauses, his eyes widening as he turns the page, revealing a vivid depiction of a colossal, multi-headed beast locked in combat with a figure wielding lightning bolts. His power was unmatched, even by the mighty Zeus, king of the Olympian gods. Birthed from the womb of the earth itself, Typhon sought to dethrone the gods and plunge the celestial realms into chaos. The scholar's voice trails off, his shoulders slumping as a grave expression settles upon his ancient features. If the legends speak true, then the gods of Olympus face a challenge unlike any they have ever known. May the fates have mercy on their souls. The celestial realm of Mount Olympus shimmers with an otherworldly radiance, its grand temples and lush gardens basking in the warmth of the ever-present sun. Yet, a sense of unease hangs in the air, a premonition of impending doom. The gods of Olympus, beings of immense power and beauty, gather in the grand courtyard, their faces etched with concern. Zeus, the king of the gods, stands before them, his muscular frame adorned with resplendent robes of white and gold. His brow is furrowed, and his eyes crackle with the intensity of a gathering storm. My fellow gods, a grave threat looms upon the horizon. The primordial monster Typhon has risen from the depths of Tartarus, and his wrath knows no bounds. The other gods murmur in alarm, their expressions ranging from fear to defiance. Hera, the regal queen of the gods, steps forward, her emerald eyes flashing with concern. Typhon, but how can this be? The accursed beast was thought to have been vanquished eons ago, banished to the darkest pits of the underworld. Alas, the Earth Mother, Gaia, has birthed him anew, fueled by her insatiable desire to exact revenge upon us for our dominion over the mortal realm. Poseidon, the god of the seas, steps forward, his trident gripped tightly in his weathered hands. His brow is furrowed with doubt and skepticism. Even our combined might may prove insufficient against such an abhorrent and formidable foe. Typhon's power is unlike anything we have ever faced, a primal force born from the very essence of the earth itself. The other gods murmur in agreement, their eyes reflecting the weight of Poseidon's words. Zeus clenches his jaw, his fingers tightening around the hilt of his lightning bolt. Then we have no choice but to try, my brethren. The fate of Olympus, and indeed all of creation, hangs in the balance. We cannot falter in the face of this threat. Athena, the goddess of wisdom, steps forward, her keen eyes filled with understanding. Wise words, father. But we cannot hope to defeat such an ancient and powerful adversary without guidance. We must seek the counsel of the fates, those who have woven the tapestry of destiny since the dawn of time. A murmur of assent ripples through the assembled gods. Zeus nods, his expression one of grim determination. Swift-footed Hermes, you shall lead the way to the underworld, 
where the fates reside. We cannot hope to prevail without their insight into Typhon's undoing. The gods, led by the fleet-footed Hermes, venture into the treacherous realm of the underworld, a shadowy realm where the boundaries between life and death blur. The air is thick with the stench of sulfur, and the ground trembles with the echoes of tortured souls. Stay vigilant, my fellow gods. The underworld is a perilous place, filled with dangers lurking in every crevice and shadow. Even the path to the fate's lair is fraught with obstacles that would break the spirit of lesser beings. As they navigate the winding paths of the underworld, the gods face numerous challenges and obstacles that test their resolve and cunning. They encounter hostile spirits, ghastly apparitions that seek to lure them astray, and treacherous traps that threaten to ensnare even the mightiest among them. Yet, they also find allies in unexpected places, such as the ferryman Sharon, who agrees to transport them across the river Styx in exchange for a payment of precious gems. And in the darkest depths, they encounter the fearsome Cerberus, the three-headed hound that guards the gates of the underworld. Only through the soothing melodies of Oarpigius, the legendary musician, are they able to lull the beast into submission and pass unharmed. Finally, after overcoming countless obstacles, they reach the Lair of the Fates, a dark and foreboding cavern where the three sisters, Clotho, Lachesis, and Atropos, sit at their loom, weaving the intricate tapestry of fate with deft movements of their ancient fingers. Esteemed fates, we come to you in our hour of need, seeking guidance in the face of a threat that could unravel the very fabric of existence. The primordial monster Typhon has risen, and even the mighty Zeus struggles to contain his wrath. What must we do to defeat this ancient evil? The fates turn their piercing gaze upon the gods, their voices echoing through the cavern like the whispers of the dead, carrying the weight of eons. The key to Typhon's defeat lies in the sinews of Zeus himself, which were stolen long ago by the cunning Typhon, robbing the king of the gods of his full strength. Without the power imbued by those sinews, the king of the gods will be powerless against the monster's onslaught, his lightning bolts reduced to mere sparks. You must retrieve the stolen sinews, or all will be lost. Only then can Zeus hope to vanquish the primordial beast and restore balance to the celestial realms. A heavy silence falls over the cavern, the weight of the fate's words hanging in the air like a shroud. The gods exchange grave looks, their faces etched with determination. Without a moment's hesitation, Hermes and the swift-footed demigod Egypan son of Pan, set out on a daring mission to infiltrate Typhon's lair and retrieve the stolen sinews of Zeus. Their journey is fraught with peril, as they navigate treacherous landscapes and outweep the monstrous guardians that Typhon has set to protect his prize. But through cunning and perseverance, they ultimately succeed, recovering the sinews and setting the stage for the final confrontation. With the sinews in hand, gods launch a desperate assault on Typhon's lair, a sprawling volcanic Typhon's cunning is matched only by his brute strength. In a daring strike, the monster manages to overpower the king of the gods, tearing away Zeus's sinews and rendering him helpless. No. My power abandons me. Without my sinews, I am but a shadow of my former self. Just as all seems lost, Hermes and Egypan arrive, bearing the stolen sinews. In a desperate gambit, they restore the sinews to Zeus, and the king of the gods rises once more, his eyes blazing with renewed determination and the full force of his power coursing through his veins. 
Now, with my full strength restored, we shall vanquish this abomination once and for all. For the glory of Olympus. The gods and Typhon clash in a titanic struggle that shakes the very foundations of the earth and heavens. Typhon unleashes his devastating attacks, hurling mountains and spewing torrents of fire and poison. But Zeus stands firm, his thunderbolts raining down upon the monster with the force of a celestial maelstrom. The other gods join the fray, each lending their unique powers to the battle. Poseidon summons forth tsunamis that crash against Typhon's serpentine form, while Hera rains down celestial fire from the heavens. Athena's strategic wisdom guides their strikes, ensuring that not a single blow is wasted. But even as the gods pour their combined might into the battle, Typhon's primal power proves nearly insurmountable. The beast's regenerative abilities allow him to shrug off wounds that would fall even the mightiest of immortals, and his endless stamina threatens to outlast the god's resolve. In a final, desperate gambit, Zeus unleashes the full force of his power, summoning forth a storm of such magnitude that it eclipses the sun itself. Lightning bolts the size of mountains rain down upon Typhon, searing away his serpentine heads one by one, until finally, with a mighty roar that shakes the heavens, the king of the gods overpowers the primordial beast, trapping the weakened Typhon beneath the volcanic Mount Etna. As Typhon's monstrous form disappears beneath the molten rock and ash, the earth trembles violently, and the gods brace themselves against the onslaught of seismic shockwaves rippling outward from the volcano's fiery maw. Plumes of ash and smoke blot out the sun, casting the celestial realm of Olympus into an eerie twilight. For long moments, an uneasy silence falls over the battlefield, the gods warily watching the still rumbling volcano, their expressions a mix of exhaustion and apprehension. It is Athena who finally breaks the tense quiet, her voice resonating with a wisdom born of eons. Though we have emerged victorious this day, the scars of this battle shall forever mark the earth, a grim reminder of the primal forces that lurk beneath its surface. I, the beast may be imprisoned, but his legacy lives on. The eruptions and quakes will continue to shake the mortal realm for ages to come. A fitting punishment for one who dared to challenge the dominion of Olympus. Let Typhon's eternal torment be a warning to any who would follow in his footsteps. The gods exchange grim nods, their expressions hardened by the ordeal they have endured. Zeus, his form still crackling with residual power, steps forward, surveying the scene of devastation with a steely resolve. Indeed, we have paid a heavy price for this victory, but it was a burden we had to bear to preserve the cosmic balance. Typhon's defeat shall echo through the ages, a testament to the indomitable will of the Olympian gods. Turning to his fellow deities, Zeus's expression softens ever so slightly, a flicker of pride and gratitude passing over his weathered features. But we could not have prevailed without the combined might and unwavering resolve of every one of you. Today, we have not only vanquished a great evil but forged an unbreakable bond that shall carry us through whatever trials the fates may have in store. A murmur of assent ripples through the assembled gods, their expressions a mix of weariness and newfound determination. As the smoke and ash begin to clear, they turn their gaze toward the distant horizon, where the first rays of the reborn sun are beginning to peek over the edge of the world. And so, the tale of Typhon serves as a cautionary myth, reminding even the mightiest of gods that true power lies not just in brute strength, but in wisdom, cunning, and the ability to overcome one's vulnerabilities. For the gods of Olympus, the victory over Typhon was hard won, but it ensured the continued reign of the Olympian pantheon over the mortal and immortal realms, preserving the delicate balance between order and chaos that governs all existence. As the smoke clears and the dust settles, the gods return to their celestial abode, battered but victorious. Their bond forged anew in the crucible of battle against an ancient and implacable foe. Yet, in the depths of Tartarus, murmurs of another primordial stirring can be heard, a harbinger of challenges yet to come in the never-ending struggle between the forces of creation and destruction. As the gods turn to depart, 
their forms shimmering and fading into the ethereal realm from whence they came. A faint whisper can be heard, carried on the ashen wind, a harbinger of challenges yet to come, born from the depths of the primordial chaos that predates even the gods themselves. For in the endless cycle of creation and destruction, the rise and fall of civilizations and cosmic powers, one truth remains eternal. The forces of chaos can be subdued, but never truly conquered. And in the dark recesses of the universe, ancient and inscrutable entities stir, their unknowable purposes defying mortal comprehension. The gods of Olympus have emerged triumphant this day, but the tapestry of fate is ever shifting, its threads woven by unseen hands that guide the destinies of immortals and mortals alike. And as the echoes of Typhon's defeat fade into legend, a new chapter in the eternal struggle begins to unfurl, its pages yet unwritten, awaiting the next epic clash between order and oblivion.